Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a preloader as well as transition into your Shopify store. I am going to show you real quick on how my Shopify store looks like for now. It's just your typical basic store. It doesn't really have lots of animations on it. You can see the only thing that happens was I got a fade in transition or a fade in animation all throughout the page and then I got some sort of like swipe up animations on the first scroll but most of the time it's just you know a very basic very normal kind of animation now i'm going to show you how to spice things up a bit on your website and what we're going to do now is we are going to go to the app section and you know that shopify actually have its own shopify app store so we are going to head to the app store and we're going to search for an app called Loadify. It's L-O-A-D-I-F-Y. So Loadify, we are going to search for that one. And it's going to give you a bunch of option, but this is actually the one that we are searching for. So you can go ahead and click on this Loadify one. It has the red symbol on it. And with this, you'll be able to add loading screen, transition, lazy load, animation, and some additional settings. You can also do a bunch of other things with this app, but we are going to focus on the load screen, but we are going to focus on the preloader as well as the animation from Loadify. So we are going to go ahead and click on install. All right, so once you got it installed, you can setting the language first so it comes with several different languages we got english espanol and then we got francis and turkish netherland dutch etc so you can choose the one you are the most comfortable with i'm just going to be using english for now and go ahead and click on continue now in order to be able to use this we will have to enable or activate the app embed on our Shopify store. So we are going to click this enable app embed option and it's going to bring us into the theme editor or the website editor. So on our website editor, we have this app embed options here. Make sure that you turn this on. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click on save and you can just close this one and continue here. And now we got our Loadify dashboard. So with Loadify, you actually have a bunch of things that you can do, but some of them are going to be needing you to upgrade your plans to the paid version. But don't worry, you can still enjoy some of the benefits even with the free plan. So first things first, we got the preloader design. So it means that what do you want to put into your screen when it's still loading and they actually have a bunch of things that you can put now let's try it one by one so i think this one is the most basic one the transparent or only fade in and out animation which is i think the one that i have i currently using and we got the love one here and you can actually change the primary color if you want but again, like I said earlier, some of the benefit might needs you to upgrade your plan. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. And instead of using the one that preloader give you, you can also upload your own custom image if you want to. I'm just going to be showing you the one that we got from the preloader instead. So you can click save in order to be able to see how it looks like i'm just going to click this one for now and then we're going to see our store so you can see now if the store is loading it's going to show me that heart symbol instead of just white blank page now let's take a look at the one that says heartbeat so this one has two colors every single time you want to take a look at how it will work on your store you're going to want to click on save now let's see how it looks like. Again, it changes. The first one we try the heart one and now we try the heartbeat one. It works just as fine. 
and we got chrome loader which is this loading circle that looks like the one from google chrome we got vimeo loader we got gradiently and we got fancy loader i personally really like the heartbeat one so i think i'm going to be using this one for now now that we got our loader screen our preloader screen created i'm just going to save it once again and if you are going to be using your own picture you can see that you can actually upload your image through here you can even choose the animation for that picture as your preloader screen so keep that in mind in case you are going to be trying their paid plan now we are going to see the preloader logic we got the options to auto hide it or maybe you want to hide it after some second so let's say you want to hide this after maybe 0 0.5 or maybe even you want this to be there for like maybe one second and you can choose whether you want to show the preloader maybe you want it to happen just once per user or maybe once per single page and if you're going to be choosing the every load let's try it for now i'm going to save this and let's see how it looks like on our store so you can see now the loading screen is a tad bit longer than the original one and if i refresh it it's going to show me the preloading animations again but if i choose to just once per user or once per session and let's see how it looks like for now i will get these but once i refresh it it will not show me the preloader animations anymore i prefer to have it on every load so i'm just going to leave it like that and now we're going to take a look at the page transition as well as the page animation so we are going to take a look at the transition that we have for now we got normal slide and then we got teardrop we got feeling tears and alt tv so those are the animation that we can be using so let's try to see how it looks like one by one we're gonna go with the normal slide for now and then go ahead and click on save Now let's see how it looks like on our store. So I'm going to click on view your store here. And that is how it looks like. And it's going to be showing whenever I move pages. Like so. And now let's try the second one, which is the teardrop one. Again, you will have to save on every single changes or else it will not work at all. So this is the second one. Again, if you just scroll down, it will not show. But if you are going to be moving pages, it's going to give you that animation like so. Now let's try the filling tiles one. I think this one is my favorite. I really like how it looks like. Let's try if it works if I just... Okay, so it also work if I just refresh it. I don't really have to close the tab all the time to reopen it. It looks really nice. And you can even change the transition direction if you want to, whether you want it from left, from top, right or bottom. Let's try if we do it from the top. Don't forget to save it. And then let's go back to our page. All right, so that is how it looks like. I prefer for it to be from the left, so I'm going to save it just like how it originally came from. You can even add sound if you want to. They have several sound. 
that you can listen to by clicking on this um, headphone symbol. I think this will be too much for me, so I'm just going to leave it with no sound. And you also have the options to enable or disable animation before entering a new page. So maybe if you wanted to apply only on one page, you can do that. And then you can also choose on which page you want to put the preloader on. Maybe you just want it to be there on several pages instead of on all pages. You can just select on the page that you want. You can just tick it. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and choose all pages for my option. So you can actually get 14 days of free trial in order for you to try out their premium benefit such as changing the background for the preloader for example i got white for now but i think i want to turn it to black instead so i'm going to see how it looks like with the black color i'm going to try all right so that is how it looks like and then i can now try the other animation for the preloader, you can see we've just tried the free one. Now here are some of the paid one. I'm really interested with the hamster one, so let's see how it looks like. Oh, it's so cute. Now because my store is actually a pet store, I'm going to use this as the preloader option. So I'm going to go back to white and then save it. Now let's see how it will look like there you go so we got the combination between the page transition as well as the preloader animation now if you would like to add your own image maybe you have your logo or maybe you have anything that will represent your brand better you can also upload that image here and then you can set on the animation of that image so that it will look more interesting now let's try and take a look at our store once again. There you go. We got the transition for each page as well as the animation for the preloading screen. And that's basically it. That is how you can create preloader and page transition on your Shopify. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.